Welcome. So today I'm going to do a very quick two-step equation, and by very quick I mean as quickly as I can. And it's going to, of course, involve matrices. Now, if you haven't seen the matrix division question mark sort of video that I've made, or anyone's idea of how you do matrix multiplication, or matrix division, quote unquote, where you use the inverse, probably a good time to do that. Also, you'll need to find a determinant to get your inverse if you don't know how to do that. This is probably not the greatest place to start, but I'll try to make it universal, but it's not always. Now in this case I have uh, this 2 by 1 matrix of negative 7 over negative 1 minus the 2 by 2 matrix times x equals my uh, 2 by 1. If I were to give you something like this, my standard real number equation, you would subtract 4, these would cancel, you'd bring down negative 3x, you'll end up with 12, you might divide by negative 3 here and come up with a final answer of negative 4. That's kind of what you would do in that situation. Similar here, but you have to make modifications for the idea that uh, matrices don't work the same as r uh, real numbers or standard equation styles. But anyway, if I were to draw a line here, I do need to subtract this matrix here because it's on the outside. So I'd essentially bring this over and do the subtraction. And this would go away, of course, because I'd subtract it and cancel it. I do negative 5 minus a negative 7, and I'd end up with uh, positive 2. And then I do negative 16 minus negative 1, which will give you negative 15. Now, from here, now that I've used all this, what I'd be left with is uh, negative 2 by 2 matrix times x equals 2, uh, or the 2 by 1 matrix of 2 and negative 15. I'm going to make a different move than maybe I would in regular numbers, and I'm going to remember this is negative 1. So what I'm going to do instead is divide both sides by negative 1. Because it's scalar multiplication on the outside, I can just divide both terms by negative 1. It'll make it clean later. So this would become negative 2, and this would become positive 15. So now I'm left with uh, this equals, and I'm going to flip the equation around just a little bit for no other reason than I ran out of space. Now my intuition is that I need to divide by this matrix on both sides. But as we stated earlier, matrix division, quote unquote, doesn't work the same way. So instead, what I'm going to do is say I have this is matrix A and this is matrix B. I need to multiply the um, second matrix by the inverse of A. Much like if instead of doing 15 times 3 giving me 5, I could multiply 1 third times 15 and I'd end up with the same answer. That's kind of where I'm going with this logic. But in order to do that, I need to make the inverse of A. In order to, and to get there, I need to find my determinant. So my determinant of A, which will tell me whether or not I can even have an inverse, and I know for a fact that I can only have an inverse when there's a square matrix. Thank goodness I have a 2 by 2. So my determinant here would be negative 1 times negative 3, which is, of course, just 3, and minus 2 times 1. So I end up with a determinant value of 1, which is very convenient. It'll make my math easier later. So now that I know it's possible, because if this were 0, uh, there is no inverse. But in this case, I know that there is because I get a non-zero answer. So I'm going to make my inverse. I take my 1 over my determinant, and then I need to, in a 2 by 2, flip the values of the numbers on the uh, major diagonal. So I need to change negative 3 and negative 1 around. And then on the off the maiden diagonal, I need to just flip the signs. So negative 1 and 2. And because everything's being multiplied by 1, my final answer for my inverse is negative 3. I don't know why I didn't change the sign. Negative 2, negative 1, and negative 1. So that is my inverse of A. Uh, be very careful now that when I do my division quote unquote here that it's the inverse times the second matrix. You can't do it in the opposite direction. If you put the inverse in the back, it doesn't work. Matrix multiplication, not commutative, which means you can't flip the order. 3 times 4 equals 4 times 3 doesn't work with the matrix. So you have to make sure that this part goes in the front, otherwise you'll end up getting the wrong answer. So I'm going to write down negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, negative 1. That logic also follows because we have sort of, in a way, misshapen matrices here. 
in the front I'm working with the 2x2 two two, as long as I do it this way and the back I have a 2x1 remember you have to name them by the rows so the, since these are the same I'll make a 2x1 matrix so that works if I did it the other way these are not the same so I couldn't uh, work with them anyway they don't have uh, the proper alignment that I would need to do matrix multiplication but in this case it does work so I'll do negative 3 times negative 2 which would give me 6 and then negative 1 times 15 so I get minus 15 then I'll do negative 2 times negative 2 which would leave me with 4 and then negative 1 times 15 which would give me negative 15 again pretty popular number so for my final answer I just do 6 minus 15 and get negative 9 and then 4 minus negative or 4 minus 15 which gives me negative 11 and then I'll check it to make sure my answer is correct and it is thanks infinite algebra so that's it uh, not hugely complicated if you know how to do an inverse if you know how to do a determinant if you get lucky like me and find a determinant of one that also helps even though I randomly selected this problem as opposed to picking one very specifically to make it look easy but that's it uh, hopefully this was helpful for you